guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video in today's video we are gonna be using a facial mask now this is not a thick a facial mask it's a very liquid a very light facial mask you don't need a heavy coat for this mask just a thin layer will do the trick so if you're looking for a facial mask that is not too thick not too heavy but it's gonna have your face looking hydrated refresh clean clear younger looking dark spots gone blemishes gone smooth the wrinkles and fine lines then follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to make this in one two three here are some things you're gonna need for this recipe you're gonna need a jar for storing you're also gonna need some cotton pads for application and you're gonna need a sheet mask the sheet mask is optional to make our anti-aging wrinkle fighting homemade a facial mask I'm gonna be using coffee and here i already have some brewed coffee so you can choose to brew your coffee in your coffee maker and whatever is left over that is what you use to make your facial mask now coffee have antioxidant that will help to smooth wrinkles and fine lines it is also great for boosting the collagen production in the skin coffee when mixed with other ingredients will help to tighten and firm the skin while still leaving your face hydrated soft and supple now guys for this recipe I prefer to use fresh coffee I do not like to use the instant coffee however if that's all you have go ahead and use your instant now let's move on to our other ingredient which is green tea and chamomile tea I'm using both tea today if you do not have green tea or chamomile tea you can choose to use some black tea in this recipe when it comes on to the chamomile tea it is a powerhouse of antioxidant and protect the skin from free radical damage it's accelerated cells and tissue regeneration and help tighten the pores and slow down the aging process chamomile tea will also help to smooth the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin now as for the green tea benefits to the skin it is also as amazing as the chamomile the green tea antioxidant and antimicrobial properties make it an effective treatment for acne and oily skin it also have polyphenol that's when applied to the skin help to reduce sebum and secretion green tea also help to smooth the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin boost the collagen production and leave the skin just younger and fresher looking now guys I have an optional ingredient here for you here I have some rose powder now if you do not have rose powder you can choose to use some rose water you can even choose to use some dry rose petal in this recipe however rose water our rose petal powder is very smoothing and very hydrating to the skin when mixed with the other ingredient is gonna create a powerful facial mask that is gonna help to smooth the wrinkles leave your skin just young fresh and supple so what I'm gonna be doing I am gonna be using the rose powder since that's what I have no rose powder go ahead use the rose water or the rose petal you can even substitute a bit of a lavender water or lavender oil for this recipe so guys if you have dried rose petal you can also choose to just put it in the blender and blend it to a powder like I'm showing here make sure that it is dried so you get it more powder like the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna place both the green tea and the chamomile tea in a bowl if you are using loose leaf use one teaspoon of each of these tea I'm also gonna be using a little bit of the rose powder in this recipe and I'm using about a half of a teaspoon of the rose powder if you are using rose petal then use a few rose petal buds in this I'm also gonna be using some rose water since I have both so I'm gonna be using about a half a teaspoon of the rose water now once this is done I'm gonna reach for my coffee and guys you want to make sure that the coffee is very very hot since this is what we're gonna be using to brew the green tea and the chamomile tea so I'm gonna pour about a half a cup of the hot brewed coffee on the 
green tea and the chamomile tea with rose petal powder and then i'm going to give this a little star like i'm showing here so make sure to just stir and then once this is done what i'm going to do i am going to be covering this since we're going to set it aside to a brew if you want to make more of this you can also choose to double up on the ingredient now set this aside to brew for a you know a few minutes or so personally i like to leave it for about an hour and then once this is done we are gonna move on after about an hour or so we're gonna reach back for our face mask and what we're gonna do we're gonna remove our cover and we're gonna remove the tea bags and we're gonna strain we're straining this because we use the rose petal in it okay so just squeeze your tea bags out I like to make sure that I get everything from the tea bags and this you're gonna to toss and then we're gonna strain our mask And now guys, our anti-aging facial mask is ready. Now you can choose to use this mask as is, or you can choose to add some optional ingredient to it. Today I'm going to be adding some aloe vera gel. Now if you have dry skin, you can also choose to use a little bit of a coconut oil or some olive oil to this recipe. Now once we had the aloe vera gel, we're going to give it a star and this complete our mask now for this mask you can store it in your refrigerator for up to about seven days now to use the mask you can choose to use it with some cotton pads like i'm showing here what you do you simply dip your cotton pads in preferably pour some out this is just for demonstration if you're not going to use all just pour some in a small bowl and dip your cotton pads in and then you use it to rub on your face so you're going to use this to rub your face as if you are cleansing your face with it however once you are done you are not going to rinse this off you're going to leave it on your face for about 30 minutes or so after 30 minutes you can choose to rinse the mask off you now you can choose to use the mask like this every day for a best result. Now there's a second way that you can use the mask and I'm going to show you right now. So the second way is to use your mask sheet and this is a very effective way to use the mask. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your mask sheet. You can also choose to make one of these mask sheet out of on towel or even a soft piece of cotton cloth and what you're going to do you're going to completely soak the mask sheet completely saturate it with the facial mask remove any excess but make sure it's not too dry and then you're going to open your mask like i'm showing here and you're going to place this over your face completely soaked completely saturated now when you place this over your face you're going to leave it on for at least 30 minutes after 30 minutes you're going to remove and rinse off now guys another effective way that you can choose to use this facial mask is to chill it in the refrigerator and use it on your face cold you can also choose to use some of this water mixed with some yogurt and use it on your face as a facial mask so just make this facial mask your own you can choose to add your favorite ingredient to it or you can use it just the way I showed you and this mask is safe to use every day on your skin you can choose to use it either a.m or pm and as i said before store it in the refrigerator for up to seven days when it is finished you can choose to make more so what you do guys use it for a week or two and then come back and share your comments with us also if there's any other ingredient that you think would be suitable for this facial mask feel free to share